enchanted episode of Tiara Diaries. Our magic kingdom dances and prances for autumn has bloomed in fairyland. Wish upon a moonbeam and catch a falling star. Fairies fly above us, they travel near and far. Come to a land where dreams come true. High upon the mountains, a princess is waiting for you. named Liana, and she was the rosiest and most kind-hearted ruler any kingdom had known. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tiara Diaries. You are cordially invited to a fairy tale of glamour and enchantment, and a peek inside the secret pages of Princess Liana's royal diary. It's not diamonds and ball gowns that make a princess. It's reigning life with bravery and love. Now fly to a land far, far away as a princess discovers her happily ever after. Tiara Diary. Oh, 
those girls do over there, over the mysteries of female life, there is drawn a veil, best left undisturbed. These cookies must have been made by fairy angels. They're heavenly. Hello, princesses. May I offer you some tea? Autumn has crowned Fairyland with a halo of golden stardust. And I hope your wings are ready because we'll be flying around the kingdom searching for treasure. This morning I spotted magical toadstools, which is a tell sign that fairies are nearby. I hope they lead us to an enchanted apple orchard. I want to bake a pie for a tea party tomorrow. Anywho, let me share my outfit of the day. It's inspired by Little Women's iconic sister, Amy March. My dress is by Linen Native and I added a pink satin ribbon to make it extra feminine. My flower crown is from Etsy and it reminds me of the radiant girls at Meg's wedding. My vintage heels are from Charlie Stone, which I've adorned with the most adorable lace socks from Victorian Trading Company. Now, off to the woodlands we go! Wonderland. With glittering eyes I could see fairies dancing under falling leaves, charming humans back to life with fairy keys. I was lost in the woods under dust and the fairies found me. And they led the way, they clear the way to my heart. She's one of my favourite authors. But now it's time to make the perfect autumnal cottage core dessert. Pecan caramel apple pie that is. But I've never made it before so it could go horribly wrong. Wish me luck. Oh, I think that's a Willoughby. Willy! Is that a Willy? Oh, Willoughby! We got time, honey, to make this 
us whatever we want See the days running Stretching out just for us
Tiara Diaries. Dear Tiara Diary, it's a crisp autumn morning and all the leaves are fluttering from the trees. I'm feeling like an old fashioned cottage princess. Dressing up in romantic lace and sipping on forbidden fruit tea from the forest. Don't worry, Louie. I wasn't spotted by an evil enchantress, I promise. Now, let's go on an awfully big adventure in Fairyland. the passers-by would be at the sight of this fierce pumpkin moonshine. Oh, Louie, did you enjoy the story? It was brilliant. Oh, you're the sweetest pumpkin of all. Pumpkin? I'm a queen. Hey, it was a compliment. And shh, people will think we're a family of witches. Oh, <laughs> I'll put a spell on you. <laughs> sharing a few autumnal delights and royal mail from this season. First, books. There's no greater thrill than escaping into magical stories. And so naturally my heart skipped a beat when I stumbled upon this magical fairy tale collection. It has classics like Sleeping Beauty, Little Red Riding Hood and the Twelve Dancing Princesses. And I love sitting by the fireplace and reading a story each night. The next autumn delight is a magical film called Little Witch about a kind young girl. Well, she's about 127 years old on a mission to learn everything there is to know about magic in order to be accepted by the older witches. the ultimate cottagecore Halloween movie and it's not too scary if you're easily frightened like me. Next is a package sent by fairy godmothers I hear. There's a note. Princess Liana, give a princess a cup of tea and she can conquer the world. I agree. Make wishes upon every sip of my magical tea and all your dreams will come true. With love, your fairy godmother. Oh. On cozy days in the cottage, I've been channeling my inner Rapunzel and making enchanted beeswax candles. It's been so much fun learning this craft, and the best part is that in the evenings, I get to live out my fantasy of being a Victorian lady with no electricity and candles galore. Princesses, I'd love to hear your autumn delights. Are there any books, recipes, or activities you've enjoyed this season? Please let me know in the comments and I can't wait to read them. Years from now, I hope you never lose the key to fairyland.
continent. Everywhere you look. The trees, the moon, yourself. With love, your princess, Liana. And she lived happily ever after. Mother. <laughs> oh.